five women have been found to develop pelvic floor dysfunction and this is exacerbated by pregnancy and childbirth and of course menopause when you start growing older in age that number increased to one in three women so some things we see uh, occurring when we start developing pelvic floor dysfunction you find out that when you want to laugh or you're sneezing you're passing out urine you call it incontinence or sometimes when your pelvic floor is too is too tight you want painful sexual intercourse so these are matters that we are going to be talking about if you this camp is going to be hosted by the SWI community and the SWI admins but we are inviting one of the very best uh, Anne Marie has over uh, over 10 years experience working with physical therapy working with women different categories of women especially women in their reproductive age and she has garnered a lot of experience she's going to be with us in this camp she's going to be talking to us she's going to be answering your questions she's going to be explaining the basic anatomy things that you need to know that are going to help you as a woman to be able to manage these issues that we are talking about has been subsidized by our partners i really want to give a big shout out to all our partners thank you for making this happen and it is done so we can have more women join this camp uh you you, you know you probably are saying P. Mary, I don't experience any of these things. I, I, I go freely to toilet. I'm not, my pelvic floor is not weak. I can laugh. I can sneeze without wind. Or I don't spoo, doesn't escape from my rectum. Everything is okay. I'm having good sexual health or good sexual intercourse. Kudos to you. Fine. But you know, age is coming to every one of us. And there are certain knowledge that you're going to gain now that would be an asset for you as you advance in age. So I'm going to encourage you to be part of this camp. Our SWI camps are brutal honest. In our camps, we attack matters squarely because we know that someone's life may just be depending on it or someone's joy may be depending on it probably there's someone there that needs help that probably has not been able to say anything so i'm going to encourage you register from the 10th of august the registr registration lines will be opened up do register who should attend this camp every woman because everyone has a pelvic floor men do have pelvic floors but this camp is for women it's for females that's why we said it's a feminine <laughs> feminine intimate affairs boot camp so we are going every woman any woman that you know any woman you meet especially the women that are trying to conceive the women that are pregnant if you are pregnant you should be in this camp because you need to hear things on how you're going to take care of your body and if you have given birth to one child two children three ah four hey <laughs> You should be in this camp, please. Like I said, our partners have subsidized it already. So it's coming to you pretty affordable because we need to be sure that the people that will be in the camp are people that are ready to learn these matters that we are bringing to them. Um, so I want you to do me a favor. Just do me a favor. Number one favor, register for this camp. You register. Get women to register. We have a lot of pegs. I think there's even a peg um, for a free registration after you three people register, the fourth person comes for free or something. There are so many things you can. We really want women to be in this camp, and that's why we are doing all the specs. Come the tenth of August, once we open our registration lines, please don't delay so that the slots will not all be taken up. Get register and get women to register those are the two things i'm asking of you yeah so uh this is p mary <laughs> and i look forward to seeing you in the camp as we head towards a healthier pelvic and sexual health see you in the camp bye